Hi, this is Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin. If you have ever found yourself humming the song, Blue Moon of Kentucky, Keep on Shining, it is a fellow by the name of Bill Monroe who put that song in your mind and in your heart. He was a Kentucky orphan, a little kid who grew up to become the father of what we know of as bluegrass music, something that is popular the world over. There's a new museum that focuses on his life, celebrating him and the genre of music that he set into motion so many years ago. Bill Monroe was known as the father of bluegrass. We're very proud of him here in Ohio County as he was the created the genre of bluegrass music. Bill did have kind of a difficult life. He was the youngest of eight children and uh, his mother died when he was only 13. And then it was only three years later that his father died. So at that time, Uncle Penn, and that's where the music came from, through Uncle Penn, he and Bill moved back to Uncle Penn's cabin. And Bill stayed with him there until he left Ohio County. I think people love Bill's music because he does, he writes and sings from the heart of many of the things that he's experienced in life. Well, just like Uncle Penn, for instance. Uncle Penn is a famous song. You can't go to a bluegrass festival without hearing Uncle Penn played by one, one or more bands. With the Bluegrass Boys, so many guys started with him and then broke off and started their own bands. And he loved children. He had, there's a story that he would give a quarter to every child that he saw. That all wrapped up to influence how he did his bluegrass music. Well, one thing that we were really excited about when we were able to build the museum is that it sort of helps the story of the birth of bluegrass. We always encourage people to start at the home place, see where he was raised, go to Uncle Penn's cabin, see where he moved to, visit the cemetery to see where he and his family finally rest, and then to come to the museum. Because once we added the museum, it sort of tells you what happened to Bill and you know where he went. Uh, the room on the side is just loaded with the furniture that he held in his last home. So coming to our museum sort of locks that in who that person really was. The fact that Bill loved his family and loved to write about his family and his song and his experiences, when that resonates throughout the actually internationally, it gives Ohio County a sense of pride that this man could be so internationally famous but still always remember where he came from and the influences that he shared growing up here is what made the music possible. We just love to see people come through here and learn what they can learn about Bill and uh, find some definition to what bluegrass was in his life. Mm -hmm.